Dear viewers, welcome back. In the last video, you saw about the design of making a one meter long, one foot wide single frame e-bike. Uh, this is the continuation video, part two. Let us see the fabrication part of it. How I fabricated uh, the one meter long, one foot wide single frame e-bike after designing. So the idea of uh, this particular project is to make one meter long, one foot wide single frame electric vehicle. This prototype will be as good as a real commercial product made by the top two wheeler companies. This will have all the features like uh, headlight, horn, side lights, left side, left indicator, right indicator, brake light, parking light, stand, uh, even in future the uh, cell phone charging ports etc. Uh, this work is going to be on par with the work carried out in uh, big R&D divisions of leading two-wheeler manufacturing companies. Now let us see about the drawing part in this particular frame then we will see how I uh, did the fabrication of making this TV. So this is the drawing. So there you can see the end-to-end -end, uh, length of this particular vehicle is 1000 millimeter that is one meter long and in the handlebar you can see the width it is 300 millimeter that is one foot the total height will be uh, 750 mm or uh, 0.75 meter uh, upon unfolding the handlebar and the seat this uh, handlebar and the seat are foldable so upon folding its height is uh, becoming 475 millimeter from 750 millimeter now let's see about the fabrication part of it uh, after uh, designing this particular uh, ev model in solidworks i converted all the solidworks part model into uh, 2d drawing file in autocad this is the autocad uh, line drawing for all the frames and other uh, uh, members of the ev then after uh, getting the input from the solidworks file into the AutoCAD. Uh, most uh, since I have in my Bharat Technology Business Incubator, I have an excellent facility in uh, fiber laser cutting machine actually, uh, having a bed size of uh, 5 feet by 10 feet. So most of the parts uh, shown here were uh, made in our facility only. So my only requirement is the raw material, the uh, high carbon, high grade. Uh, uh, mild steel sheets. After procuring that, I just uh, use my machine, and you can see the the machine which is making the cut onto this uh, MS sheet or mild steel sheet. I'm just fast forwarding it. So this is how I made the uh, parts for this sheet. So after making the cut, you see this is the these are the uh, blanked parts actually made out of this MS steel sheet. Uh, this is a one uh, side of the frame actually of the vehicle. Uh, this other side. Then so fabrication is underway. Now I join all the frames and uh, this particular arm for the swinging member. Onto this swing member only, I'll be fixing the rear wheel. Uh, here I will be taking the front wheel with the fork of course. So this is the swing arm for the rear wheel set. So after fabrication it looks like this. Uh, its weight is uh, just uh, 600 grams only. So this is the kit I used. It's a, a, a 9 inch or 10 inch if I suppose. A 10 inch uh, uh, 250 watts 24 volt. Uh, EV kit setup I used for making this EV. So this is the battery I made right from the cell level. I always use uh, the lithium ferrophosphate or abbreviated as LFP for making the battery pack from the cell. Uh, this particular battery pack uh, uses uh, 3 into 8, 24 uh, LFP cells. Each cell having the capacity of 3.2 volt and uh, 6 amperes. So 3 into uh, 3.2 into uh, 6 amperes is equal to approximately 19.2 watt power. So totally 24 uh, cells are there. 
So roughly it, 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 it can generate uh, 40 watts of power so that uh, uh, the motor hub motor power is uh, 250 watts only the battery pack uh, power is 40 watts so if that is the case uh, for a single charge it will it will last up to two hours or uh, uh, kilometers wise the range will be 30 kilometers for a single charge so these are the various stages of uh, uh, making the uh, fabricating the ev so this particular sheet I made out from the uh, plastic sheet using the uh, fiberless fiber CO2 laser cutting machine. We have this uh, thing also in our uh, facility. So this yellow color is the plastic sheet actually uh, cut in our facility only. Then you see uh, in the previous slide you can see now here you can see the blue color one is the battery pack and this particular one is the uh, controller and this is the converter converting 24 into 12 volt because i said you know we, uh, uh, this particular vehicle has a headlight uh, side lights brake light etc all these require need 12 volt power supply so along with the con uh, controller i incorporated the converter also to convert uh, the voltage from the battery into 12 volt and this is the mcb um, uh, circuit breaker and this is the charging board. so everything is contained in the frame itself again I repeat so this particular number is the battery pack uh, uh, battery pack and this is the controller <clears throat> this is the converter this is the MCB switch master switch and this is the port through which uh, I can charge the battery so this is how it looks this is how it looks after uh, fabricating I painted everything so the front to fork and the handlebar and the seat are foldable by unscrewing the bolts which are provided here. So if I unscrew this knob, this could be folded. So this is the actual uh, real prototype uh, actually. There you can see the stand also. Side stand is also provided. Thank you for watching. Maybe in the next video, we'll be seeing the, uh, we'll be viewing the uh, real running of the vehicle at various places. Thank you.